If you're a gamer planning a trip to Japan, here are some tips that may come in handy. Get one of these magical cards as soon as you get off the plane, as it makes getting around Japan a breeze. Suica cards, or PASMO, they're functionally the same, work on most forms of public transport, plus you can buy stuff from vending machines and convenience stores. Some arcades even support them too. Suica mate. Convenience stores, aka convenies, are absolutely everywhere and a great resource. They're generally open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so for all your snacking needs, the local conveni is the place to go. Seriously. Many ATMs in Japan won't accept foreign cards, so keep an eye out for a 7-Eleven, Citibank or post office to get money out. Many Family Mart and Lawson stores have international ATMs now too. Convenies. Is there anything they can't do? The Greater Tokyo area is home to something like 38 million people, so the city's public transport system is incredibly efficient. You can get almost anywhere in Tokyo, or other major cities like Osaka for that matter, using their subways and JR lines, Suica, and trains typically come every few minutes. And to go further, there's the Shinkansen. The train system shuts down between about midnight and 5am, so if you're out late, make sure you either get the last train or have a contingency plan. Western-style hotels are definitely convenient, but there are plenty of other options. Ryokans, for instance, offer more traditional accommodation, while capsule hotels, well, the fact that they exist means you should try them, right? Learning a few basic phrases will take you a long way. Start here. Hi. Yes. Sumimasen. Excuse me. Konnichiwa. Hello. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Wakarimasen. I don't understand, or I don't know. And uishi. Delicious. You might as well learn kawaii, cute, and sugoi, amazing, for good measure too. You'll be hearing those words a lot. Japanese people will go out of their way to help you if you ask, even if they don't speak English, so try asking, or possibly miming, if you're lost. Arcades are still a big deal in Japan, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Most have a broad range of attractions, from UFO catchers and metal games, through to rhythm games, racing games, fighting games, and so much more. Some arcades, like Taito Hei or Game Center Mikado, specialize a bit more, so if you want to play obscure shoot 'em ups, classic SNK fighters, or get a retro fix, there's an arcade for you. Akihabara is Tokyo's geek nexus, and packed with games and manga shops, electronic stores large and small, arcades, themed cafes, and, well, anything an otaku might obsess over. It's not the only option, however. You could also head to Nakano Broadway, an indoor mall specializing in figurines and collectibles, or pop up to Ikebukuro, which also caters specifically to female otaku. Oh, and while you're shopping, the Akihabara location of Super Potato is well known among gamers for being a treasure trove of secondhand gaming gear. The store sells a wide variety of classic consoles, from NES through to Dreamcast, alongside shelves of games. There's a little less stock here than there once was, so I'd recommend checking out some of the other secondhand game retailers, as well as the other Super Potato locations, such as Ikebukuro, Osaka, and Nagoya. The dream of owning a Virtual Boy can be a reality. Traveling in Japan is way easier than it used to be, because these days you've got Google in your pocket. Rather than get lumped with insane data charges though, see if your cell provider has a generous international data plan, and if not, rent a wireless router or SIM card for your trip so that you have the internet wherever you go. Google Maps is basically my number one resource in Japan, and I always prep it before I go, saving shops, arcades, and restaurants as bookmarks. That way, when I hit the madness of Akihabara, I have a better idea where to go. For an extra safety net, print out the full address of your hotel and any particularly important destinations in Japanese before you go. Good old Google, eh? This app can help you translate text, which is invaluable for menus that are in Japanese or signs you want to read, but it can also translate conversations into and out of Japanese. This can be a lifesaver. Plenty of Japanese restaurants have plastic models of their dishes out the front. Not only will that give you an idea of what the restaurant serves, if the language barrier inside is too steep, you can simply point to what you'd like to eat. Japanese streets are like icebergs. There's often a huge amount of stuff hidden just beneath the surface. The subway systems of Tokyo and Osaka, for instance, are home to plenty of good restaurants and shops, while department stores often have food courts on their basement level or several floors of restaurants above. Districts like Shibuya, Shinjuku, and Akihabara also have a lot of stuff tucked away in back alleys or underground, so go exploring. Want to see sumo wrestling or attend a particular baseball game while you're in Japan? You might want to book your tickets before you go. There are several third-party services online that specialize in buying tickets for visitors, so look them up. I've used a couple and they've worked out great. You might as well buy your robot restaurant tickets ahead of time too, because that show, while the biggest tourist attraction in Kabukicho, is a whole lot of fun. Planning on hitting Tokyo Game Show while you're in Japan? Great! 
just don't book your accommodation out in Chiba where the show is. It's actually not that far from the center of Tokyo, about 40 minutes on an express train, so I always commute. That way you get to hang out somewhere awesome every night, like Shibuya. This is an obvious one, but it's worth bearing cultural etiquette in mind when you go to Japan. Observing little things is easy and will prevent you from looking like an insensitive gaijin. For instance, only an idiot would walk and eat on the street as that's considered rude. Also, don't play with your chopsticks or stick them in your eyes. Don't blow your nose in public, take your shoes off when necessary, bow politely when necessary, don't tip, don't talk on your phone on public transport, don't pour your own drink, and do pour drinks for others! Kanpai! Hopefully these tips have been helpful. Japan's an awesome place, so get over there and have fun. And before you go, be sure to check out my profiles on two of the best arcades in Tokyo, Taito Hei and Game Center Mikado.